Looking for you wanna hold me so Florida Yeah, be the real, it is the one I hit up I need a house on the beach, get some sun Palm trees, family, it's all I want Yes, 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 my friends. Hey, yo, you know what time it is. You know, it's Pierre Nicholson, your favorite realtor down here in beautiful South Florida. Man, and do I have a treat for you. I'm out here in the beautiful community of Arden, which is an agriculture neighborhood. Part of your HOA, you get to pick up what fruits and vegetables you want, and once a month, they give you a basket, man. But before we get into anything else, hey, take a look at this baby. Kaboom! Beautiful, brand new construction out here in the beautiful city of Loxahatchee. Loxahatchee, right next to Wellington, close to West Palm Beach. We're in Palm Beach County. Hey, listen, you can't get no better than this. Before we get to anything else, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. And if you're thinking about moving down here to beautiful South Florida, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Even leave a comment down below and I'll be glad to help. Okay, my friend? Enough of that. Let's get to it. Hey, look at it. Kaboom! Beautiful single story. Down here, brand new construction down here in the beautiful community of Arden. Beautiful South Florida. Hey, this model is called the Newport model, right? Let me give you the stats real quick. Three bedroom, three baths, a den or optional fourth bedroom, great room, covered patio, two car garage, total square feet, 2,984 square feet, right? And listen, they got three elevations, farmhouse, rustic, coastal, Hey, the cheapest base price is... Let's not waste more time, it's going. Look at this uh, beautiful handbone pattern. Right, there is a CDD, but that's included in your taxes. And if you want to continue and, um, and get this property or get or buy in this community, you just need 10% down. That is it, okay? Beautiful. Let's go in two car garage. I'm loving this stack stone veneers, AKA facade, right? And I like the stack stone they're using outside here. And let's walk up to it. There's a, a, a staff member in here cleaning, keeping the house beautiful and pristine. So you might, you're gonna see her in here. I'm loving the Wisconsin. This is the light pictures outside, right? Look at this, beautiful, man. Anybody walking into your home like this, they know you're somewhere special. I will go ahead and frost the, the windows or put like a, you know, like they say obscure or frosted, any way you want to articulate that. Uh, orange field textures on the wall, right? Wow, look at these big, beautiful high ceilings. I like how they put the, the, the big blocks of wood beams there and they're kind of using that as crown molding. And I like the little wood in the top of the ceiling with the can line, these big, beautiful light fixtures hanging down orange peel texture on the walls. You got the um, alarm system with the camera. Let's go over here real quick. It's gonna be the closet with the wire, wire shelves. AC return right there. You got AC supply in the bathroom with the can lighting. And I like how it transitioned from this wood tiling into this high gloss tile situation. You got your quartz countertop, or, or I'm thinking it's, um, yeah, I'm thinking it's not quartz, yeah, quartz. Quartz countertop, I said the right thing the first time. Under mount sink, frameless mirror with the beautiful wallpaper, right? And this is a tub situation. If you wanna, if, if you wanna do your own vibes, you can put, go ahead and put glass on this tub and it makes it look that much more luxury. I love the niche with these big, beautiful, high gloss tiles. Shower head, and let's go into the first bedroom here. This is a three bedroom, you could make this a four bedroom. I like how they did this Wayne Scott and vibes right here and they painted it to make it uh, stand out more. And look at this transition, man. I'm loving how, woo, how plush that carpet is. Beautiful, man, I'm loving the light fixture. Look at these nice windows. Beautiful, man. Here goes the closet. And this is a, you could put a bigger bed in here, easy. You could put like a king size bed, easy. There go one of the staff members cleaning. Let's go this way. Here go the the office slash. You could, you could make you could turn this into an optional fourth bedroom if you wanted to. That's what they're saying. And I'm loving the built-ins in here with the desk. 
beautiful. I'm loving the built-ins. You can do you can do this yourself. I don't know if they can do it like that, but you can do it. You got your AC return, AC supply. I think no, this is apply, that's the return. Give child texture on the ceiling. You got your can lighting, let's go this way. I think this leads to the two car garage, but they locked it, let's go over here. I like how it transitioned from this wood into this plush carpet. Wow, I'm loving that light fixture. Skip child texture, AC return, AC supply. And there's no windows, by the way, behind this, but they put the curtain on the wall to soften up the wall, and they put some, some lights behind it to give it an extra pop. This is the type of stuff that an interior designer does. You know, a lot of people like to try their own hand and they don't do too bad of a job. But when you do this, when you do something day in and day out, you have an extra little pop. Remember, you don't have to get the interior designer to do everything. You can have them just consult you, okay? And give you ideas and you can get it done yourself. That's a little trick, you know what I mean? That you could, that you could do if, if, you're, if you have a budget. Look at the um, light, I like how the light is positioned. Nice soft light position over there. You got your wire shel shelvings. So sometimes you might do a wire shelving. Why? Because you know you have a you got to stick to a certain type of budget, and you might throw you might throw a lot of the money on the outside, right? Or you might throw a lot of the money in the kitchen or both. And you're like, well, well I'll, I'll do the built-ins later. You know what I mean? So that's the way you can kind of do it. I'm loving the vanity, quartz countertop, undermount stained frameless shower. I love these butterfly wallpapers. You know, to each his own, everybody try to do the thing to make it stand out. I'm loving the niche. Look at this, very tall bathtub too, right? And like I said, you can go ahead and put the glass right here and it can give it an extra pop. And funny enough, this bedroom has a little outside vibes to it. Let me see, it's not that big. They locked, you can't go out, but wow, this is nice. So this is a nice little, I don't know, standing area. You may be able to put maybe a mat here. It, it's, it's, it's small, but you know, if you, let's say, I was thinking of something, let's say you're, you, you're a smoker and everybody else don't smoke. You got a little place to go and close the door and do your thing and not disrupt anybody else. They locked it so you can't go to the side of the house. But you can also maybe access the backyard or the side of the house from here, right? If the if the if the um if the backyard is open, maybe we kind of take a peek and see if you can access the backyard from there. I'm, I'm sure you can. Here go another room right here. So this is the garage. They locked it because you know they're using that storage. So they're essentially turning turn this into like almost like a mud room kind of. They got that, I mean, right now they're using this as cleaning supplies because, you know, they're cleaning the place. Wow, this is soft clothes. So this is like a little mud room slash, you know, you can put a little, they got a whiteboard so you can organize yourself. Come on, man, I'm looking forward to that. Okay. I'm loving how, and we're still in the foyer. Hey, this is a one, this is what I said, your one story where you're from, where you live at, and one story down here in South Florida, that's two different stories, don't play yourself. Okay, some people frown on one stories, but come on man, after seeing something like this, you definitely could live here, right? We're still in the foyer, by the way. This is AC, this is screaming AC to me. I wouldn't be surprised if a home like this was maybe like one to two zones, maybe even one zone, right? I'm loving the transfer vent. If, as we go into the laundry room, you got your overmount sink with the faucet. You got your 42 inch sh shaker uh, style cabinets. I'm loving the, the impact windows, category four or five. Here go the smart box, which just brings the house that, you know, they screwed it in, they locked it. But trust me, you're gonna appreciate your smart box being in the launch room in the front of the house. Cause sometimes you got some builders or some homes, the smart box is located in the, the master bedroom closet. And I, that's not my favorite position for it. Why? Because I don't want nobody going in my bedroom working on anything. Sometimes you want to be chilling. You don't want people in your closet. Sometimes you got extra personal stuff in your closet. So the fact that it's in the front in the launch room, Hey, if they decide to take anything, they can take the detergent, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Clean up your ass. All right? <laughs> All right? And let's, and let's continue, man. And look how this even drops right here as you're going into the rest of the house, man. That is crazy. So that's like saying you're leaving the foyer and you're entering the rest of the house. Beautiful, man. Let's look at this. I'm loving the kitchen, right? Look at that. 
You got your big island. Look at this real quick before we get to the island. You got your wire shelving in the pantry, but you know, you could you could put built-ins in there, but you know, you also gotta look at that budget and see what that budget could do, right? You got your undermount sink, this is a deep one. I like how they cut the, you know, they, they, they cut it to the, of course they're gonna cut it to the sink like that, but it's, I just like how they do that. Deep sink, goose mount, goose mount faucet with the pullouts. And you got your rocket switch under there to turn on the garbage disposal. You got your GE dishwasher. You got your in the wall microwave. Like people don't, you want, I mean, you can still go get a microwave from like the store stuff, but come on man, the homes are, they're coming in homes these days. You got your countertop GE gas stove and you got your Wi-Fi oven. Come on man, when your oven connects to the Wi-Fi, you know you got something special. You got your range hood that tells you the time because it's eye, side, it's eye level, which makes sense, which exhausts the outside. And I love the fact they got the lighting underneath the upper cabinets illuminating this beautiful uh, quartz countertops. And it also serves as the backsplash, which I, my wife would just totally love that. And come on, man. Okay, they got the side, they got the staple side glide. So sometimes you might get the countertops, but you can't get the, you can't get the dovetails. In, in, in the thing, and there's nothing wrong with that because anybody come in here, do you think they're gonna be like, well, you know, your kitchen don't got the dovetail drawers, so you don't really got a kitchen? Get out! <laughs> right? No, they're not gonna say that. They're gonna be like, wow, this is beautiful. Stay with me. Beautiful. I'm loving the can lighting with the, with the speakers. Look at this. This is crazy. So this is the formal dining. This seat's about eight. Nice. Look at this. And I'm loving the windows, impact glass, and you and you know you want you want to get the impact glass. Why? Because if God forbid if a hurricane comes this way, you're not worried about putting shutters on your windows. And all you gotta do is put shutters on your windows one time and you're gonna be like, okay, yes, I should have got the, the impact glass because that's a lot of work. All you gotta do is just if you don't want to see the storm, just close the curtains. That's all, that's all you got to do. You can even leave it open if you want to. You know what I mean? Here go the formal uh, living room. And I'm loving this light fixture, man. That is beautiful. And I, I, I love these. Look, they, they got the recess in the wall, but they got this extra cabinetry. And they, were, they put some quartz right here. That is beautiful with some open shelving. Right, they got a TV here. And this almost looks like a fireplace, but it's not with a candle. That is nice, man. And this big TV, look at this. This is beautiful, man. This is one of the one of the better entertainment setups I've seen. Look at this. Of course, it's a lot because they got this is almost like a wine room, but it's like a a, a liquor room. Look at this. Beautiful, and I like the way they got the the lighting in the in the shelving. Look at that, man. That is beautiful, man. That beautiful cove lighting is popping out each alcohol like 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 this is a store and it's all look at this man they got the the little setup there this is how what you could do with your vibes that is absolutely stunning let's see if they open the backyard on this one because sometimes they'll be locking it uh, I, I could tell from early okay it doesn't look like they locked it because last time I was not last time but I was struggling on one of the 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 model homes, man, I'm like, why is it not open? Because, you know, usually my luck is not that good with opening the, like, any door. And I was like, damn, it's me, but it, it wasn't. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful indoor, outdoor flow. You got Honeywell on the AC. It's like not over 90 degrees right now, and, and, and I'm in a jacket. That's crazy. Look at this. You're doing it to yourself, Pierre, I know. Right, so you got the skip chop, you got, not skip chop, you got the orange peels texture, you got the fans, you got the, look at this, beautiful man, you got the, the pavers on the back and the hair bone pattern, wow, this is crazy, you can put a pool back here, but if you don't, look at this low maintenance backyard, you, you got a fire pit that you probably use on the three or four days that is actually kind of a little bit chilly, and when I say chilly, maybe 60 degrees, <laughs> 60, 60 degrees is chilly here, man. Trust me. People, they bring out their boots and everything. Okay, the standard lot here is about 48 by 120 square feet. So they, they, the malls are built on a small lot for some reason. I don't know why. But this picture, these, this gate, 20 foot 
20 feet back that way, right? And and that would be a typical lot. If you want to, you, you could have GL Homes put a pool in here for you. So the, 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 the lowest number for a pool, the lowest price for a pool, if you have them put it in, is $73,000. And that's by, for a 12 by 26 uh, pool. If you want to include a hot tub, the total price will be 104,000 starting, okay? If you want to do that. Or you could say, you know what? I'm gonna go third party and I'll probably get a cheaper, a cheaper deal. All right? Hey, the HOA is only $279. There is a CDD, but it's covered in your taxes. So you don't really gotta worry about that too much. And if you wanna move, if you wanna buy a house in this community, man, it's only 10%. And I got my contact, Rick, so we'll just set you up right away. Let me close this back, cause AC's like gold here in beautiful South Florida, okay? Let's go this way. So we're going into, Man, sorry about that. My camera overheated before it shuts off again. And let's go into the master bedroom. Let's do it. Let's go in. Look how it transferred from this beautiful wood to this, I don't know if that wood is real or not, to this beautiful carpet. And since we're close to this master bathroom, let's go look at it first. Nice. And this looks like a pocket door. And listen, man, pocket doors cost between fifteen and 2500 to install. That's the average price of a pocket door. Look at that. Beautiful, man. So you might want to do that. And you know, the benefit of pocket door is saves you space, right? You don't got to pull nothing out or anything like that and hit nobody just in and out, right? Beautiful, look at that. Nice. So that's his, that's hers. Why? Because more space. And I like how the frameless mirrors wrap around the bathroom with the wallpaper and the light fixture. Here goes the sunken shower. It is not frameless, but it is sunken. I'm loving the towel choice on the floor. Look at that, beautiful. The niche is right there. As you can fit two shampoos and some soap. I love the, the rainfall shower head. And they put a window treatment on the, on the, on the obscure glass. You know, with, with, the, with the obscure glass, you'll need a window treatment unless you wanna just completely block out that sun. It's up to, you know, to each his own. Right here, go to the linen closet. Is that builder grade, I call it builder grade shelves, the wire, the wire shelves, that's what the builders love to put in. And here goes the water closet, AC supply line, and you got the vent. Beautiful. Man, the camera shut off again. I wasn't quick enough, but we can continue before it does it again on me. Right, so let's walk this way. Here go the closet. This is definitely his. He doesn't have a light. <laughs> It's going to her, this is definitely hers. AC supply line light, right? Wide shelf, but you could definitely put some beautiful built-ins. You can put some built-ins in this too, and you can add your own light if you wanted it as well, right? All right, let's finally enter the master room itself. Beautiful, man, look how big this room is. Because, it, it, you know, almost, it, you almost wanna say it doesn't look that big, but look how swallows up this king size bed. They even have this big, this is a built-in by the way, they put here. You might, not, you might not have this here when you're, uh, when you when you buy the house, but this is big as I don't know what, right? Even space on the side. It, this is a king size bed. And they even got space on the side. It even has space beside the dressers. And these are like some, I want to call it like some you know, side table dressers, right? I already said dressers, but side tables are usually small and cute. These are some big side tables. I'm loving the light fixture, AC return. AC, oh, that's a return. This is supply right here. Listen, this camera keep cutting off of me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. You got view of the back here. That's what I try to say before cut off. But thank y'all for rock with me. Hey, that's it, right? Thank y'all for rock with me. Hey, if you haven't already, then hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified every time I, that's right, drop a new video, okay? And if you want more information about this property or you want to move down here to beautiful South Florida, anywhere in West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, or Miami, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, even leave a comment down below and I'll be glad to help my friend, okay? I appreciate you like a thousand percent. Hey, listen. <laughs> Thank y'all for rocking me to the end of the video. You know it's your favorite realtor down here in beautiful South Florida. Till the next property. Peace!
start a new life, a new home Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and West Palm If I wanna hold me South Florida Yeah, be the real, it is the one I hit all